Ventriloquism on the radio, a Donald Trump charm school, or binoculars for bears are things so pointless and irrelevant, they almost defy you not to like them. Range Rover's Eva Cabriolet is another. A ragtop sport utility vehicle? Oh boy, who thought that mine up? And at this point, I'm really still trying to forget Nissan's unlimited Murano Cross Cabriolet, Yolet. Before continue, please subscribe, share and comment. Thank you. Oh yeah, the car we all really need, joked one German PR representative when the Eva Camryo broke cover last year, though the joke was on the other foot at the Geneva show in March, when VW debuted the T-Cross Breeze concept, a design so astonishingly similar to the Evox. You wonder why Land Rover hasn't taken legal counsel, the counsel. The Evoc is, of course, Land Rover's surprise hit of the 21st century. It all started in the Motor City in 2008, the year of Land Rover's 60th anniversary. In celebration, the company produced the Land Rover LRX, a wedge-shaped SUV hybrid designed by Julian Thompson, with the sumptuous cabin by Mark Butler. It was this car that became the 2011 Evoque, based on the Freelander 4x4 chassis, with new independent suspension, Ford four-cylinder engines, and Range Rover spelt across the bonnet. This was a kind of boutique, concept car for the road. Its flaws were manifest, cramped rear seats, high curb weight despite lots of aluminum coachwork, a really high sticker price, and a lot less technology than the LRX had initially promised but East and West Coast urbanites tore each other's eyes out for it. And like the first Renault Scenic or the Mazda MX-5 when they were new, the Evoque had no competitors, if you wanted an Evoque, you had to go to Land Rover, and Rover. 